pain management after the surgery has changed a lot in the last few years. Uh, we use multimodal anesthesia, including intraoperative penile blocks with local anesthetics, uh, as well as non-narcotic pain medicines such as IV Tylenol and IV Toradol, which uh, help alleviate pain and inflammation. Uh, some men, this is not quite enough, and so we do have IV and oral narcotic pain medicine available immediately after surgery. And once the patients go home, uh, most men can get by with just Tylenol or ibuprofen. If the pain is more than Tylenol and ibuprofen for, can handle, a small prescription of uh, uh, 10 to 20 pain pills is provided. But most of our patients really don't need that anymore. Reducing swelling is a big part of the post-operative pathway. There are three steps you should perform to help minimize the risk of swelling. The first thing is ice, and as soon as you leave the operating room and arrive in the recovery room, uh, the nurse will provide an ice pack to the groin area. The second thing is compression. After surgery, we have a compressive bandage on that will be removed in the morning. Once the bandage is removed, we typically recommend you put on a jock strap or a compressive speedo type underwear to uh, uh, reduce swelling. And then the last thing is rest. So uh, being too active in the first few days after the penile implant procedure can result in increased bruising and swelling. What do I need to follow about the incision site? Well, the incision site is closed in two layers with absorbable sutures or dissolvable sutures, followed by a skin glue. Typically, the skin glue will last about two weeks, sometimes three weeks. Uh, generally, we recommend men are safe, safe to shower uh, the second day after the surgery. And when you shower, you can wash everything with soap and water. Showers are okay up until two weeks. And then at two weeks, if you're more of a bath than a shower person, baths, hot tubs, showers, swimming pools are okay. Um, if the glue at two weeks has not come off and it's bothersome, uh, you can use some mineral oil to help uh, loosen up that skin glue and remove it. When do I start pulling down on the pump in my scrotum? Well, one of the issues that some men experience after a penile implant is what's called a high riding pump. And that's due to the uh, compressive dressing or the scrotal size where the pump rides high in the scrotum and if not dealt with promptly, it can result in the pump being scarred up close to the penile shaft and more difficult to use. Uh, typically, we recommend men pull down their pump uh, immediately after surgery or as soon as pain tolerance will allow. And a couple of times a day, uh, reach up and pull that scrotum down to the bottom or the dependent portion of the scrotum. Pain medications and anesthesia are common causes of post-operative constipation. Most men don't need any uh, help in this area, but some men do. We typically recommend men do a scoop of Miralax, which is available over the counter from any uh, grocery store or pharmacy, uh, twice a day, one scoop twice a day until bowel movements are back to normal. And after this, the Miralax can be discontinued and reduce the risk of post-operative constipation. Usually we ask our patients not to do any heavy lifting or strenuous exercise for three weeks after surgery. Uh, bathing can typically be recommenced two weeks after surgery and uh, other movements are generally not restricted. We want, after a couple of days of rest, we want you to do most of the normal things you normally do. Stairs are okay immediately after surgery as well as uh, most activities of daily living. Driving, we ask uh, that you not drive until you're off pain medicine uh, and are comfortable, which is usually just a couple of days. Men can drive after surgery once they're off pain medications, which is usually in one or two days. Uh, returning to work can obviously be varied by the type of work you do. Uh, most people with office work can return to work within a week or certainly uh, not longer than one week after the procedure, assuming no complications. Uh, men who do more strenuous activity may need to be off work for up to three weeks. Your pain level will be your guide 
And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. The typical recovery period for this surgery can vary by patients, including occupation and pain tolerance. Uh, most men can go back to work somewhere between uh, less than a week and usually not longer than three weeks. Uh, by the end of the three week period, almost all men can do exactly what they were doing before surgery. Complications or changes you should call about after surgery include increasing swelling, increasing bruising, as well as uh, redness or discharge from the incision, any fever or significant change that's concerning to you, nausea, vomiting that doesn't stop, pain not relieved by the oral pain medicine are all things that my office would want to know about and we'd get you in as soon as we could to evaluate. After your surgery, you'll have two scheduled follow-up visits. The first one will be at three weeks. We'll check the incision, examine the swelling, and if pain and swelling allow, we will start uh, teaching you how to inflate and deflate the device. Over the next three weeks, you'll inflate and deflate the device for an hour once a day. And then at six weeks, if the incision is well healed, you're comfortable cycling the device. Uh, you and your partner will be released to resume uh, normal intimacy. How soon can I use the device? Well, most men we have start cycling the device at the three week mark, which is inflating and deflating. And then at the six week mark, you will be cleared to resume normal intimacy. Who should I contact if I have questions during recovery? Well, any questions should be directed at our office. Uh, the office phone number is 405-340-1279. Please ask for myself or uh, my nurse. If you have fever over 101, severe pain, nausea, vomiting, it doesn't stop, the ER might be the most appropriate place to undergo evaluation.